Look at this beautiful bag we are going to make today. This is a shell beaded bag made in a simple way using only pearls. This is fold in it and it's also stretchy. Look at how stretchy this bag is. Very, very beautiful and well designed. And I'm going to lead you to step by step. So you can also make one for yourself. I hope you are all doing wonderful today and thank you for joining me. Hi everyone and welcome again to another tutorial. So in front of me I have 12 millimeter pearls, 10 millimeter pearls and 8 millimeter pearls in front of me. Okay, I have 10, 8 and 12. That's what we are going to use today. Here is my monofilament or fishing line in 50 pounds or 0.7 mm equivalent. Here is my cutter or you can use nail cutter or scissors. Anything that works for you. Let's get started. So here's my line that I cut and I'm going to start with six bead, okay? I'm going to put all these six bead on the line, six bead. So I cut the line long enough that my arms can handle. That's what I cut, okay? This is six bead I put on the line. I'm going to hold the last one and cross my right line into it hold the bead and pull now we have a ring of six bead okay these are six bead in the ring so now my line split into two the right and the left so here is a six bead so again i'm going to make a ring of six okay but they are sharing one in common so now we only have to add five so i'm going to add two on the right side of my line and cross into the one and pull you see I add two two on each side of my line and then cross into the fifth one and pull like this cross into the fifth bit hold the bit and pull and this is how it looks like we have two rings of six bead okay and now we are going to continue to make another one let me show you how to make it on each side of my line my right and the left line I add two bead on each side of my line then I'm going to cross into the fifth one and pull okay hold the bead and pull the line and here is how it looks like we have three done one two three so I'm going to continue to make six of these okay I'm going to continue to make six and here is my six rings that I made so if you count it this is six one two three four five six okay now on my right line i'm going to add five bead to my right line okay because i'm going to turn to make another row here is five line i add all five bead on my right line i'm going to hold two of them cross my left line into it and pull okay make sure your line remain in two bead this two bead right here okay this is two bead over here that is where the line is i'm flipping it over to my side and now my left line i'm adding four bead to my left line i cross into the last bead and pull okay like this now my right line into the next two bead pull through two bead and now the left line, this is my left line. I add three bead to my left line. Hold the last one, cross with the right line and pull into the next two bead with my right line. I'm pulling my right line into the next two bead, all right? So now on my left line, I add three bead to the left line. I cross the right line into the last bead and pull down. And this is how it's going to turn, okay? This is going to burn a little bit. Don't worry about it. That is what we want it to be, okay? So now I add three bead again to my left line. Pull the last one, cross the right line into it, and pull my right into the next two bead, okay? Two bead, two bead until we complete. This is how it looks like. Continue to make it. It's going to curve. And don't worry about it. That is how we want it, okay? So now my line is in the last two bead, okay? Here's the last two bead. So my line is in the last two bead. On the same line, I add three bead to the same line, okay? That's my right line. I hold two bead, cross my left line into it, and pull. Make sure the line remain in two bead, okay? Two bead. 
so now let's continue I'm going to flip it over to my side so now my left line I add four bead to my left line I hold the last bead cross my right line into it and pull down okay I'm going to pull through two bead with my right line okay into the next two bead now my left line I add three bead to the left line like this hold the last one cross the right line into it and pull into the next two bead with my right line put the right line into the next two bead now my left line I add three bead to the left line cross with my right line and pull so here if you are working with me I want you to pull through two two bead and complete the row okay so now I'm in my last bead over here this is the last two bead and now my left line I add three bead to my left line I hold the last one cross with my right line and pull and this is how our weave is looking like so on this row we are going to increase one more ring on this row all right one more ring so I'm adding five bead to my right line like this I'm going to hold two okay hold two bead cross the left line into it and pull down all right over here we have increment of one ring okay I increase the size with one ring like this okay now I flip it over to my side again and on my left line here is how the shell look like okay don't worry about the base we are going to increase the top to make it wide okay that is what we are aiming at only the top you see the fold these are the fold we are putting into it okay these are the fold if you see the shell the folds that's what we are making now okay now so on my left line I add four bead to my left line so because we are going to widen the top I pick up one ten and three eight and I'm going to cross my right line into the eighth and pull that's the last bead okay now my right line into the next two bead pull through two bead and add three bead to the left line this is all three eighths to the left line cross and pull I'm pulling through the next two bead with my right line okay and now I add three bead to the left line like this and cross with the right line and pull so from here I'm going to pull through two bead and add three bead to the left line and do the same thing so I'm going to repeat the same technique until I complete the row so go to two and add three bead to the left line cross with the last bead and pull okay continue until the end now my line is in two bead again okay so my right line I add three bead to the right line I hold two bead cross my left line into them like this and pull okay my line is in two bead all right I flip it over to my side again and I'm starting with four bead I add four bead to my left line I cross the right line into the last bead and pull into the next two bead all right go through two bead with the right line and add three bead to the left line like this okay cross the right line into the last bead and pull my right line into the next two bead into the next two bead three bead to the left line cross the right line and pull repeat the same on this row until we complete so now my line is in two bead okay here's the last two bead my line is my line is in this two bead over here and on my left line I add two eights and one ten okay two eights and this is a ten I cross my right line into the ten and pull so now we are going to increase one more ring over here we are increasing over here okay so my right line I add five bead and in between I put the ten this is eight eight and in between I put a ten I'm going to hold two of these eights, cross my left line into it, and pull. So we increase by one, okay? One more ring. 
Now my line is in two beads. So my left line, I add one twelve, two eight, and a ten. Okay, here is ten, two eight, and twelve. That's how I add it to the line. I cross my right line into the ten and pull my right line into the next two bead. Pull through two bead with the right line. Add three bead to the left line. That is two eights and one ten. I cross into the ten and pull into the next two bead. Okay. And on my left line, I add two eight and one ten. I cross into the ten and pull into the next two bead. Two eights and one ten. I cross into the ten and pull. So here is how our weave is looking like. You see over here, we drop 10 mm over here. Okay, so now we are going to continue the rest with 8. I pull through the next 2 bead and add 3 bead to the left line. Cross into the last one and pull into the next 2 bead. 3 bead to the left line. Cross to the right line and pull. I'm going to continue into two into two okay and i'll meet you back here so now my line is in the last two bead that's my right line i add three bead to the right line i cross my left line into two and pull okay i'm going to flip it again over to my side all right and now my left line i add four bead to my left line like this for the last bead Cross the right line into it and pull. So again on this row, we are going to continue with the same technique and complete. Go through two and add three bead to the left line. And now this is my three bead I add to the left line. Cross with the right line and pull my right line into the next two bead. I add three bead to the left line. Cross and pull down into the next two bead. Okay, here is how it looks like. We are going to go to two. You see where we put the 10, we are going to repeat the 10 too, okay? This is where it starts. The 10 starts, 10, 10. We are going to repeat on this row, okay? We are going to repeat whatever bead is in the middle. We are going to repeat the same bead on this row too, all right? We are going to continue with 10, 10, and 12. So now, this is the last eight section that I stop. Okay, I'm going to pull through two bead, and now I add two eight and one ten. Okay, like this. Okay, I'm going to cross my right line into the ten and pull. I'm going to continue again into the next two bead. All right, on my left line I add two eight and one ten, like this cross my right line into the 10 and pull my right line again into the next two bead okay and now over here this is how the weave is looking like all right so as you can see we are putting 10 mm on this row too okay like how we did for the previous row all right now let's continue so now my line is ending I'm going to stop this line over here and continue with a new line. So let's learn how we can add a new line to our project. All right. So now here is my, my bead that I take. This is a 10 and two eights. Okay. So watch carefully. If I cross into the 10, this is how the line is going to cross into the 10. Okay. So now I want you to watch carefully. This is where my line ends. Okay. So I'm going to hold both. And tie so I'm going to tie in between these two bead over here and whip the rest back into the bead make sure it's secured before I trim it off all right so I'm just weaving the line back into the bead a little bit to make sure it's well secured before I cut it off all right so now trim it off nice and neat okay here's my line that I cut this is a new line and I want you to watch this is where our line ends in this bead. So I'm just going to this bead over here, okay? You see? I'm just going to slide my line through the same bead like this. And now 
we are going to continue into the next two bead and that is how you add a new line to your project all right so let's continue two eight and one ten cross into the ten and pull i'm going to pull my right line again into the next two bead into the next two bead right the same technique we are applying over here too okay so now my left line i add two eight and one twelve cross into the twelve and pull so over here too we are going to make an increase of one ring okay we are going to increase this one of one ring so here i put two eights one twelve and two eights like this i hold two eights cross my left line into both bead and pull okay like this this is how it's supposed to look like i flip it over to my side like this okay now let's continue again on my left line i add 112 2 8 and 112 i cross my right line into the 12 and pull okay my right line into the next two bead pull through two bead and on the left line i add 2 8 and 1 10 cross into the 10 and pull into the next two bead on my left line i add 2 8 and 1 10 i cross into the 10 and pull okay so on this row we are going to follow the same pattern until we complete it okay so i pull my right line to two bead okay so let me show you what to do okay you see how we put 12 we repeat the 12 and repeat the 10 over here we are going to repeat the 10 again over here okay whatever we did on this row we are going to repeat the same over here on this row too okay we are going to do 10 put the 10 in the middle continue until we complete so now i'm in my last two bead and i add three beads to my right line i cross with my left line and pull okay make sure the line remain in two bead all right make sure the line remain in two bead i'm going to flip it over to my side okay we are going to continue again make one more row we are going to make one more row on my left line i'm starting with four bead okay cross into the last bead and pull down my right line into the next two into two bead then i add three bead to the left line cross into the last bead and pull my right line into the next two bead into the next two the next two repeat the same and put the same bead wherever it belongs just add the bead over there okay the same bead we add in the middle we are going to add again so now i'm in my last bead and i'm crossing into the 12 and pull so over here too, we are going to increase by one ring okay so on my right line i put five bead and in between i put 12 i cross into two eights and pull like this so now we are going to continue with the next row okay so i add four beads to my line in between i put two eights in between i cross into my 12 and pull so now we are going to put 12 again over here in the middle all right so i pull through two bead okay and i pick two eights and one 12 cross into the 12 and pull my right into the next two bead pull to two bead and add three bead to the left line cross into the 10 and pull my right into the next two bead so now on this row two we are going to repeat the same thing over here until we complete go through two bead and add three bead and making sure you add the same size of bead on this row onto this one too okay so we are going to add the 10 and the eight make sure they look the same on this new row that we are making and now i'm about to complete mine so i'm going to pull my line through the last two bead go through two bead and on my right line the same line okay 
I'm going to flip it over. You see how the weave is looking like we are having our lines and it's going to. So here we are going to decrease. Here is how it look is looking like we are going to decrease from here. Over here we increase, okay? We increase by 1 and here we are going to decrease by 1, all right? So it's increase and decrease. Now we increase, we have to decrease. All right, so here I add three beads to my right line, across with my left line, and pull. Okay, I'm going to flip this over to my side. And now I'm starting with four beads. On my left line, I add four beads to the left line, across, and pull. I pull my right line into two beads, three bead to the left line cross and pull into the next two bead three bead to the left line cross and pull down into the next two three bead to the left line cross and pull okay i'm going to pull my right line again into two beads then we continue the same and here we are going to stop the second but last bead okay pull through two bead and add three bead that's two eights and one ten cross into the ten and pull into the next two two eights and one ten cross into the ten and pull into the next two bead i add two eights and one ten into the next two, two eight and one ten cross into the ten and pull down. Okay, I'm going to pull the right line again into the next two bead. Go to two bead, two eight and one ten cross into the ten and pull. I'm going to pull through the next two, two eight and one twelve cross into the twelve. And pull down into the next two and I'm going to add two eight and one twelve I cross into the twelve and pull into the next two bead all right pull through the next two bead and add one twelve and two eights okay like this cross into two eights and pull this is where we are going to stop our line okay because we are decreasing we are decreasing by one ring all right now i start again with two twelve and two eights like this okay now i'm going to pull my right line again into the next two and here's how it's looking like okay you see this we this is where we are now okay this is what we are adding to the side and now we are going to decrease again and come down until we complete our shape all right we're going to come here come there decrease by one 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 all right until everything is equal and look proportional so i cross into the 12 and pull now my right line again into the next two bead then we continue the same until we complete all right now i'm on the side i'm going to create another row over here and stop over here okay we are decreasing so i'm going to stop i'm going to make a row and stop here i'm starting with four bead and now my right line again into the next two bead pull through two bead so on my left line i add three bead to the left line cross and pull down we are going to continue the same way and follow the pattern so into two bead i'm pulling my line through two bead and on my left line i add three bead cross and pull down Okay, so we are going to follow the pattern over here, follow to the end and stop into this bead. Okay, so now let's continue, all right? Into two bead, the next two bead, I add two eights and one ten. Cross into the ten and pull down. Okay, my right line into the next two bead. Go through two bead like this and add 
3 b to the left line 2 8 and 1 10 cross into the 10 and pull my right line into the next two bead and add 3 b to the left line 2 8 and 1 10 cross into the 10 and pull down okay i'm going to pull through two bead again 3 b to the left line 2 8 and 1 10 i cross into the 10 and pull again into the next two all right and three bead to the left line that is two eight and one twelve i pick up i cross into the twelve and pull down this is where we are going to stop all right so i pull through the last two bead on this row and my right line i add two eight and one twelve i cross into the eight and pull make sure the line remain in two bead okay my line is in these two eight millimeter right here let's turn again to create another row all right now i'm going to flip it over to my side like this so i start again with 212 and in between i put 28 like this i hold the 12 cross my left line into it and pull down i'm going to pull my right line again into two bead all right so from here we are going to follow the pattern okay follow the pattern. this is where we are now so we are going to follow the pattern continue to decrease one step until we come to the last row all right so i'm going to continue to weave mine and you to make yours and i'll come back and meet you here and i'll do the rest of camera so now i'm about to complete mine i'm on the last per second row and here is my last row over here okay and I'm going to whip the rest of the line back into the bead. Make sure it's well secure before I trim it off. I'm just weaving the line round into this ring over here. And also a little bit further into the bead before I trim it off. So if you complete your weave, this is what you have. This is what you're going to have. Look at how pretty it looks like. Like a shell foam. This is very beautiful. You see how the pattern we increase here. Okay, when we started, we increase and here we decrease to the last row. All right, so if you complete this one, you have to make another piece again because we need two pieces of this to make a complete bag. So you are going to make another one in addition to this one. Okay, and here is my piece. This is the second piece that I'm making, I didn't complete yet. I have two more rows to complete this one. So give me a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, so we put these bags together so if you haven't completed yours yet go ahead and make yours and I'll be back so we can put these bags together and make it a complete bag okay I'm going to complete this side of the second piece and I'll be right back let's close this bag okay my line is in this two bead okay this piece over here this two bead my line is in that bead I'm going to add one bead to my line like this and I'm going to pull through this two bead okay pull through this two bead on the second piece like this here is my bead that I add to the line and now we have the line like this I take one bead cross both ends of my line into it and pull now my right line into the next two bead my left into the next two bead pull the line through the next two bead the left line into the next two bead take one bead cross both ends of the line into it pull the lines and pull into the next two my left into the next two bead right line through the next two bead okay hold the left line pull through the next two bead like this I take one bead okay this is how the weave is looking like I take one bead cross both ends of my line into it hold the bead and pull the line now we are going to continue into two bead into two bead continue the same way until the end all right go through two two to the end and I'm going to show you the rest all right so all that you have to do here is to pull the line through two bead take one bead Cross both ends of the line into it and pull, alright, like this. 
So continue with this one to the end. Continue with the rest and complete. And here is mine. I completed mine. And now let's continue to complete this bag. Okay, I'm going to pull through the next two on the right and the next two bead on the left. Go through two bead like this. I take one bead, cross both ends of my line, and pull. All right, now I'm going to pull through the next two bead on the right. The next two here is this. Okay, two and the left, the next two. I'm pulling my line through two bead on the right like this two bead on the left like this i take one bead okay here is the line showing in two bead okay take one bead cross both ends of the line into it like this and pull again i'm going to pull through only one bead only the eight over here i pull through only eight on the right side and only the eight on the left side like this okay my line is in three bead i take one pearl cross both ends of my line and pull i'm going to go through the 10 okay i'm pulling my line through only the 10 this one over here this 10 on the right this 10 on the left go through only the 10 okay that is only one bead over there one 10 over there Put the line through on the right and on the left one okay like this take one ten cross both ends of the line into it like this and pull now i'm going to put my right line into two bead okay my right into the next two bead my left into the next two bead two bead over here all right go through two bead on the right two bead on the left okay like this I take one ten cross both ends of my line into it and pull down now I'm going to pull through only ten okay and this the next ten go through that ten millimeter over there okay on the left and on the right I take one ten Cross both ends of my line and pull. Now I'm going to pull through only the 12 and the right, only the 12, the left side, only the 12. My line here is only in the 12. Okay, so I take one 10, cross both ends of my line into it and pull. Now I'm going to pull my line again into these two beads. These two beads. From the right and the left okay go through two bead and on the left side I'm going to pull through the next two bead okay and I'm going to take one ten cross both ends of my line into it and pull again I'm going to pull into only the 12 only this one 12 all right the left only into the 12 Go through the 12 on the left side only the 12 only this two okay only these two now i take one ten and cross both ends of my line into it like this and pull again i'm going to pull through the next 12 into the 12 my left into the 12 go through the next 12 10 and hold the left line and pull into the next 12 mm bead all right like this now i take one 10 again cross both ends of my line and pull again i'm going to pull into the next two bead the next two into the next two bead over here this is the next two the left side go into the next two i'm pulling my line into the next two bead and here is the left side pull through Two bead okay like this and I'm going to take one ten cross both ends of my line into it and pull now again I'm going to pull into only the 12 this one okay the left into the 12 all right pull to the 12 left side in the 12 
again I take 112 cross both ends of my line into it and pull so now I'm going to pull through this bead okay the 12 I'm going to pull through the 12 again on the left side and on the right side I take 110 cross both ends of my line and pull okay again I'm going to pull my line into two bead this two bead on the side this is the right side, pull through the two. The left side, pull through the two bead. This is the pattern that we are weaving on. That is what we are going to follow around to the end, okay? So now I'm going to take one turn again, like this. You see the circle? We have to complete that. Have to be six bead. I take one turn, cross both ends of my line, and pull. Okay, this is how it looks like. I'm going to pull through. The next 12 on both sides pull through the 12 and take one 12 cross both ends of the line and pull now into the next 12 all right the left side pull through the 12 now I take one 10 this is how it looks like take one 10 cross both ends of the line cross and pull over here I'm just going to tie in between these two beads and secure my line then I trim it off so closing of this bag is very very simple just follow the pattern how we are doing it to halfway then you complete yours okay so I want you to follow this pattern and use it to complete yours around the shape until it's complete okay complete go round and complete it and this is what it looks like very pretty very beautiful i'm going to make mine off camera and i'll come back and meet you here this is how our shell bag is looking like very pretty very beautiful this is the inside of it okay look at all this fold we put in it okay and when you open it you can stretch it because of the fold look at how stretchy this bag is very very beautiful isn't this beautiful look at how stretchy this bag look this is the inside of it you can put your phone and other accessories in it so with this bag you have a choice okay you can add a strap on the side and make it long and use it as a, a cross body bag so for the side you can put your line through a bead then you start stringing your bead on it make it long for your liking how long you like it okay like this you just pull the line through the bead you tie first tie and tie nice and neat okay and then just start to string the bead on it make it a pattern that you like and make it as long as you like you can make it short and you can make it long okay like this make it long this is how you do it okay just make it long as how you want it and use it as a cross body bag okay and the second handle you can count just measure the middle okay in the middle over here like how I'm doing so I'm going to go around this ring okay I'm going to put my line around this ring over here okay go through round okay and come at the top okay I'm going to hold the other line go through the bead and cross into the top bead like how I'm doing okay so now I'm going to hold both ends together and start stringing my bead on it very simple handbag that's what I'm going to do okay very simple handle I'm going to strip and make a pattern with it this is a 18 I'm just mixing it with 18 and 12 millimeter like this just making a little pattern okay so you make it long but not so long okay this is just a tiny handle we are going to make on it make in the middle like this and now i'm going to count again and make sure my handle fit in the middle okay over here i'm going to count again measure so you count and measure the middle make sure your handle fit in the middle so that both sides can balance okay so I pull through this ring okay I'm going to pull my line through all this ring over here 
and now this is how it looks like okay very simple easy to make handle so what I'm going to do I'm going to whip the rest of the line round into this ring make sure it's well secured enough before I trim it off all right I'm just going round into the ring like this tie and whip it back into the bead again a little bit more then I trim it off or you can whip go back into this bead and make the handle strong okay or whip it back into the bead and this is what it looks like and if you're done this is what you have our shelf beaded bag is done very pretty and beautiful you can use this for wedding for your occasions and fit in your accessories I thank you for watching I thank you for your time and thank you for always watching my video coming back to watch God bless you all please don't forget to subscribe and also turn on your notifications for new videos that I'll be uploading so you don't miss on any thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video bye